Hello friends, welcome back to another video here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's guide video, we're going to be going over all the details to show you how you can get Riolu or Lucario in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. But before we get into today's guide, I just want to make sure that you are aware we've already done a couple of videos showing you how you can get event in-game exclusive Pokemon already. We've covered Rotom and we have covered Spiritomb. Both Pokemon you can get prior to finishing the game or the Elite Four. And both of these videos will be linked down in the description if you do want to check those out. So to start us off, we need to be in Kanalav City. Now, once you've reached this city in your game, you're going to have access to this mini side quest. What you want to be doing, just for reference here, we're starting off at the Pokemon Center so you know where I am leading you. If you want to take a left out of the Pokemon Center here, you want to cross the bridge towards the gym. As soon as you get to the gym, you want to just make your way south and over to the right. And you'll come across a sailor we stand in front of a big ship happens enough so if you talk to this npc character he will offer you the opportunity to head out to the iron islands and do you want to just take him up on this and head out now i will just mention as we're getting into a guide to get riolo and lucario now lucario is obtainable in the post game of brilliant diamond shine and pearl so you are going to be able to unlock some different areas of the grand underground and by doing that you're going to have access to catch this as a wild pokemon it isn't an exclusive pokemon we're getting right now but it is a pokemon that you can get in the early stages of your playthrough to add to your team to help you beat or take on the elite four now, once you've reached the Iron Islands, you can get off, make your way up to these stairs, just bypass the house and head towards the cavern entrance. Once you head inside, you want to take the stairs to the right. And this will take you down into another cavern and you want to just follow this path that I'm taking right the way around. There are a few NPC characters as you make your way through this cavern. So just be aware that you will have to have a few battles on the route to starting this side quest. Now, once you get to the end of this cavern, area you will come across a lift you want to just take this lift down to the next floor and then you want to take the stairs down to your left once you do this you will then be greeted by npc character and this time this character is called riley he introduces himself riley complains about the wild pokemon being restless and he would like to team up to help get through the cave system and he said if we do he'll heal our pokemon up as we go so the one thing to note here is as well for you shiny hunters you're going to have the opportunity now while this quest is going on as long as you're in the cave paired up with riley you're going to have a good opportunity to do some shiny hunting because you are getting double the odds every time that you encounter any wild pokemon but for those of you that just want to continue on and get this quest finished and not shiny hunt you want to continue straight down from where you first encountered riley and then you will encounter the first pair of NPC characters that you'll have to battle. You'll have to battle another couple of NPCs as you go through this route and before you reach the end of the cavern you'll bump into two Team Galactic NPCs and after you finish this you'll enter a cutscene with Riley where he thanks you for helping him through the cave system and as a thank you he would like to give you an egg and this egg is the egg that contains Riolu so you say thank you you say your goodbyes and you head out the cavern so just to make sure that you're not going back on yourself take the lift down to the next floor and then exit out on the cavern to your left this will take you to another lift if you take that up to the stairs it'll take you out to a side cavern of the iron island cavern system so you can just fly from here you can make your way back down to the boat and go back to Canalab city and continue your adventure but for us what we are going to do now is just quickly hatch this egg and a bit of a throwback to the older original generations diamond and pearl where i spent a lot of time hatching eggs beside the daycare center in celestial town and there is the longest stretch of route where you can just jump on your bike and go backwards and forwards. Now, it used to be a lot easier in the original games because the I've got to admit that the bicycle controls with the analog stick are not the best. So getting a straight run up and down this route is probably not the best. And I've seen a lot of other players mention that just going around in circles, you actually clock up more steps than you would do just going in a straight line. So that might be an easier option, especially with the bike and it just not feeling that great with the controls in this game that might just be me might not but once you have reached a number of steps required for this egg it will hatch obviously if you want to reduce that you can grab yourself a flame body pokemon that will cut that time down by half so once it hatches you are going to have yourself a riolu so you can add it like i said to your party 
and complete the game if you haven't completed it yet or just add it to the game so you've got it for your Pokedex or for your team. So that about does it for this episode, this guide to show you how to get Riolu in the early stages of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl. I hope for a lot of you that do wish to add it to your party, you managed to see this video uh, before you get to this stage of the game because again, like I mentioned, I didn't realize this side quest is in existence. I didn't remember it until I'd finished the game and then I'm coming back post game to get it and I would have loved to have had it to add it to my party to kind of play through the game with because Lucario is like many other fans a big fan favorite and uh, something I would have loved to have complete the game with but unfortunately maybe next time in my next playthrough we'll do that but uh, hopefully you have a bit more fortune than me in this scenario so hope you've enjoyed today's episode friends thank you so much as always for tuning in if you have enjoyed it please consider dropping a like on the video and do subscribe to the channel just looking at my analytics and about 73 percent of viewers that actually view the channel aren't subscribed so if you do have a minute and you want to hit that subscribe button to support the channel to support the content if it is helpful it would be really appreciated to help push the channel and grow it to that next level. We have an absolute boatload of content coming up on the channel to cover in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We have things like Romana's Park, we have the Grand Underground, we have lots of stuff surrounding the Pokemon that are available down there as well as a lot of the items as well as a bunch of other locations for the legendary Pokemon and version exclusive event Pokemon in these games to help you get through and make sure that you're making the most out of the games in as easy easy a sense as possible so do consider it if you do enjoy this sort of content because this is the very tip of the iceberg when it comes to content for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. More importantly than anything else make sure you're taking care of yourselves and I'll see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye. Friends, if you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you do check out both of these Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl guides that are already up on the channel. And as I've mentioned, this is only the start of the coverage for these brand new titles since they've dropped. Also, if you are new to the channel, make sure you check out any competitive content. We do a lot of VGC content here on the channel, as well as doing live streams and Nuzlocke. So it'd be great to have you join the community. We have a community Discord as well that you can get involved with. But at the base of it, thank you so much for checking the videos out. And if you do check any of the other content out, I hope you enjoy it.